Hi, today we're going to be going over a quick tutorial on how to use Rotman Portfolio Manager. So if you do not have the client onto your computer, you want to first come over to your internet browser and look up rpm.rotman.utoronto.ca slash software. Once you come to this page, you want to click on where it says select right beside download and follow download prompts and install the software onto your computer. Once the software has been downloaded onto your computer, you want to come over here and double click on the icon, which will most likely be on your desktop. I already have one open, sorry. Once you are presented with the login screen, you want to log in with the login information, the username, sorry, and the password that your professor will give to you. So I'm going to use the one I currently have. I'm using this uh, software for my fixed income class. Once you type it in, you want to click connect and Rotman Portfolio Manager will start up and sign you into your account. Now, there's a few things you could do with this. If you come up to the top, click accounts, it'll tell you a little bit of information about how much money you currently have your buying power, your portfolio um, value, base currency, and any other currencies that you currently hold. If you'd like to convert currency, you would type in the amount here from whichever currency to whichever currency and then click convert. Moving down the line, we have Market Watch. Market Watch lets you look up certain companies or bonds or options that you would like just to keep an eye on and just find quick quotes, quotes on. Next, under portfolio, we have your portfolio watch, which is where you will keep an eye on all your securities, whether them be stocks, options, futures, or bonds. Mine's currently empty because we have liquidated our account for the assignment. But the anywhere or anytime you purchase um, any type of security, it will be listed here, the exchange name, the name, the position you took, the, the weighted average cost and so on and your profit and loss will be listed right here on how much money or how much money you're making or losing on that specific security. Also under portfolio we have portfolio analysis where you can look up historical returns, your sharp ratio over time, asset allocation which right now all of mine is cash, your benchmark analysis, attribution analysis and so on. Next we have trades. This is what you'll be using the most. So if you click on new trade, you can type in the ticker of your of your liking. So you either click buy if you want to buy, sell if you want to sell, put in your volume, decide if it's going to be a limit, market, stop order, and then you can submit. Another way to submit a trade is having your market watch open. And if a, tr if a, a security pops up on the screen, you can double click on the security and then the, the new trade screen will pop up with a ticker already in this field. Makes it a little easier. Trade management is where you will go and watch trades that are currently set up as limit orders. Right now I have about five limit orders that never went through from my previous assignment. It doesn't look like they will be going through anytime soon. And then also you could see any cancelled transactions and all the transactions that went through on this screen right here. Another way to look at transactions is just clicking on transaction log. Try to give my computer one moment, thank you. And you can see everything and it'll be listed from timestamp, country, currency, and so on. You could define your searches a little more by just looking at bonds, for instance. And these are all the bonds that we traded, the transaction type. Clicking at the top here, you could actually sort, depending on ticker names, the amount, and so on. And to download all this information, you click Download Complete History. It'll show you all the trades or all the transactions you made throughout your assignment. You can also right click on here and hit Copy to Clipboard. And then you could paste it all into an Excel sheet for easy viewing later on. Ticker search, this is where you can look up certain securities. For instance, I wasn't sure exactly what the tickers were for some of the bonds because they're very long. So what I did, I came to uh, stock and bond search, click bond name, 
I click advance, I click plus, and I made my, uh, my parameter country, and I searched up US, and I hit enter. And it shows me all the American bonds that I'm able to trade for my assignment. Now, it will tell you the underlying symbol, the rating of that bond, the coupon of that bond, when it matures, the industry, sector, name, the company, and country, and the ticker. Which, as I said, it's rather pretty long. I wouldn't be able to remember them off the top of my head. You could do, the, you could do this for um, options and futures or an exchange as well. Moving down the line, we have historical charting, where you could look up historical charting for um, any type of security you like. I would look up a, a stock right now, but the, my current um, portfolio manager is limited to only bonds. So, but if you type in the security at the top, you pick your horizon, and you click enter, and it'll tell you the historical charting for that security. And that is pretty much it. There is a help guide here if you need more information regarding how to do certain things. You could filter your information and you can also look down. If you need more help with anything regarding Rotman Portfolio Manager, your professor should have access to a quick start guide which can answer the most common questions. And once you're done, don't forget to hit log out so any of the other group members can use this. Um, portfolio manager because only one person can be signed into each account at a time. Thank you for watching.